So here we are at Emex in Auckland in New Zealand uh, at the Emex show and uh, speaking with AJ from 3D Printing Systems. Hey guys, how's it going? So what have you got, what have you got to show us today, AJ? Alright, so we've got something pretty special for you guys today. So <laughs> right here we have a fully 3D printed and working Toyota 22RE engine. So right down to the belts on the front, printed in a rubber material, the entire engine was done in 88 different printed parts, all in PLA plastic. Now PLA was perfect for this project because there's a lot of large flat parts which meant they were going to remain dimensionally accurate and nice and straight. So let's have a take, take it apart and have a look inside. So we've got the valve cover here, underneath we've got a fully work, moving and working camshaft, all the valves, springs purchased from our local Bunnings store, so pretty impressive stuff and the heat even comes off as well with the intake and exhaust manifolds, full moving pistons. And the piece of resistance underneath a fully working crankshaft as well. Wow, that's pretty cool. So what material is this? So this is all done in PLA, polylactic acid, which is an organic type plastic, uh, perfect for this type of stuff, real hard, real hard wearing. And the belts? The belts were done in a TPE, so thermoplastic poly, poly, uh, polyester. So they're flexible rubber? Nice, yep, flexible rubber, and with this uh, flexible material, you can actually print with support as well. Alright, and underneath the, uh, the head, moving valves as well. Wow, that's insane. So that's... to do something like this, there is quite a lot of printing involved, because we did it at a really high resolution on the up box. 100 micron detail. Nice. And would you have had, what happened here, would you have support material in there? So we wanted a really nice surface finish on the outside and to get the best finish and the best quality what we had to do was fill it with support material and print it in that orientation. Right, so lots of support material in here but with the up filament on the up box came away really, really easy. Oh, no, no, you're... 